because of this video that I watched. Hi. So I was just watching a video about the commentary about ADHD and how some parents are so anxious to put their kids on a drug because they um, want to be able to control their ch child's behavior and how the schools push um, these drugs and how there's these nasty side effects for these drugs. and. What I thought about was some of the things that I tried that were natural supplements for my child or maybe want to get consistent with trying them and um, have read about and done some reading about. And so, for example, one of them would be fish oil. In prisons, they did, they did an experiment in a prison where they gave the prisoners fish oil who were some of the most aggressive people. And they said that they saw behavior changes, improvements in them. Why they stopped giving them the fish oil, I don't know. That's pure stupidity in my eyes. But anyway. But they do research and they say that fish oil helps with both autism and an ADHD. And that not only can it help with that, but... Um, with dyslexia, which it also turns out a high percentage of people in prison have dyslexia. So, you know, there's a natural supplement and I give my son gummies because he likes them and it's really easy to give him gummies. And one of the reasons that I believe there's a behavior problem is that the working memory does not work well in people on, with ADHD. And the working memory directs behavior and to have working memory, you need dopamine. So that could be one thing to look into because fish oil boosts dopamine. So another one to look into might be magnesium. Magnesium is needed for dopamine as well as the working memory. You know, and you can get that for chewables for your child. Why does my throat feel like it's acting up all of a sudden? Um... Anyway, um, and then choline is also needed for working memory. So there might be natural supplements that you could get for your child that would help your child and not need to put your child on a drug. And, um, you know, they're safer. They tend to be safer. Yeah, you still don't want to overdose on something. You want to make sure that you're not overdosing on it. But it's still more likely to be safe. Um, so these are just a couple things that you might look into. Um, glycine can help with frustration intolerance in autistic children and um, serine can help with focus. So there are things that you can do to help your child so that your child isn't doing too badly and you know you might not need to spend an arm and a leg for a medication either.